But today, let's talk about some of the awesome options inside the Scout Campers that are tough to live without. So first off, we have the Lifesaver Jerry Can here. 4.9 gallons of water storage. Um, I had this one loosened off for another video, but um, you can get water from anywhere with this. Creeks, streams, lakes, wherever you want. It's got a built-in filter. Um, with that filter, the only thing, again, is that uh, I'll show you quick. You just put the water in, you pump it up, and then you got your wand and everything. But when you bring this camper in for winterization, you want to make sure you keep your store, your filter wet. So keep some water on the filter. You just don't want that to dry out, okay? So the next option will be your Dometic cooktop. This is super slick cooktop. I won't set it all up right now, but uh, if you lift this up, it makes it easy to open and close these side wings. Um, but two burner stove. Uh, we use a low pressure propane system in the Scout. So if you have your own Coleman stove or a different brand of cooktop, it's not going to work inside the Scout because uh, it's a low pressure propane system. So if it has a built in regulator, it's probably not going to work very well. I think there's like another partner steel stove or other uh, one or two other options out there that use low pressure. But uh, I always recommend our stove just because it fits the, the space perfect. Um, and it's easily taken in and out. There's a quick connect on the back of the cooktop. So um, that's going to allow you to take it outside, do your cooking outdoors, keep the smoke out. A lot of people don't want to make their coffee inside the camper in the morning. They want to do it outside. So uh, even if you don't add our cooktop, the uh, propane line will still be there on the 2024s. And uh, so you can still secure it. It just wouldn't have the straps. So these are custom belay straps for Scout. But you can get your own and secure your own cooktop. No issue there. But it is a kind of a game-changing option. Fits perfect. Works perfect. Uh, I love this little cooktop here. Next option is super slick and tough to not have a cooler. But uh, in terms of coolers, this is the Dometic CFX Cooler 45, this one. Uh, lots of space in here to put your, you know, your, your bacon and eggs or maybe your fruit and crackers, whatever it is that you like to bring camping with you. Um, it fits all in there, powered. I believe you can control it from, other, from Wi-Fi and things like that. So easy to use but one kind of power saving tip i might recommend is that you maybe put a, a I, I like to do this one myself is um i use my milk jug so i use a week of milk or whatever empty when it clean it all out with water make sure it's clean fill it back up with water freeze it at home then i stick it inside my cooler now that's gonna give me an extra three or so days without actually turning plugging this thing in and the reason i mention that is because the cooler is a decent sized power draw on the goal zero power station so you can use an ice pack or you can go with a cooler like a uh, Yeti, um, which is going to be all kind of an ice-based cooler. Use no power from your Goal Zero. It's just going to extend your stay using ice at some point, um, but you don't need to. This can plug in. You can keep your food cool. A couple day trips, no problem. The Scout's going to work great. Um, another thing here is these bags inside the Scouts, they're custom for this space. They fit amazing. Uh, you can bring them inside your house, pack them, bring them back out to hook them back in and clip them. I'm using some like Nike bags in my camper. They're cool bags. I like Nike bags, but they don't fit the space this nicely and this perfectly. And they just don't have as much volume as these Scout bags. So these are a really high quality bag um, and they work really, they work great. Another thing here is going to be, you can see they're, they're secured to the, the ceiling brackets that are now standard on the 2024s. But let's go to the next option. So you can see up here, you have the nose windows in this Scout uh, Yoda that we're sitting in um, that has a bug screen on it, a day night shade on it. And these windows also open and shut um, and they bring in tons of extra light and tons of airflow into the camper so i highly recommend those uh, they pair well with the skylight that comes standard with the campers this will always have a skylight unless you add the rooftop tent on the larger models but uh, skylight nose windows dinette windows going to give you tons of airflow in the scout and tons of light so these things are nice and bright it's getting later today so we got some some a little bit darker outside as you can see but that's okay um, the next game changing option i would say is your diesel heater so we'll check it out here Again, this is inside the camper. This is your temperature controller. You got your external sensor here. Um, so again, just a quick one. I always go to system settings here. You put it back to Fahrenheit, go to heating mode, put it on external sensor, and that's gonna use this little guy here. And then when you come back to the home page, it's gonna be in Fahrenheit. And then you just hit your little, change it from ice to a nice warm coffee cup. And you are now gonna be nice and warm. So that is a game changer. Comes with this vent that's adjustable, goes up and down. Um, those are some of the big ones, but ones we don't want to forget about. So this obviously has a portable toilet option. And this one that you can add from us, that one's, <laughs> you can go with any toilet. But um, right here is the Goal Zero Yeti. So three things again that come standard on the Scouts that are amazing is the Goal Zero Yeti 1500X. Um, you can see here all the plugs are labeled. They're all, all the wires are run, are run to a fuse channel or panel now. All nice and tidy in here. 
Um, they come now with this extra brain, let's call it. It's a module. So now you can see the solar is plugged in here. And what that does is that ensures that your goal zero knows to pick the higher power source without unplugging and replugging. So if you have the truck running, your truck's going to charge to goal zero. If you have solar, solar is going to charge to goal zero. But um, it's going to be able to decide which one to use, which is fantastic on this goal zero 300X. Again, they're all labeled. Um, and if you have any questions, you can reach out to Scout Campers and we can ensure you know how to bring this back in and out. Again, when it comes to winterization, there's only really two things that you really need to do in the Scouts. That's bring in your water storage or make sure there's no water. Bring inside your Goal Zero Yeti so that it doesn't get cold in the winter. And you might want to use, you know, check your seals, make sure everything looks good. Uh, get a cover for your camper and cover it to protect it from the elements. But uh, again, so this is one of the three that comes standard with the Scouts. Goal Zero Yeti 1500X. The next big one is the tie down points. You got your anchor points with the hook, hook it into your truck box anchor points and then ratchet it tight. Um, if you go with the older or the other kind of campers, you need belly bars and fast guns lots of times. That can be quite expensive to add to the truck. So standard on the scouts, go zero power station, go online and Google them. They're expensive. Tie down systems, belly bars and fast guns. They're expensive. And the third one is the goal or is the Renogy 175 watt panel also come standard on the scout. So those are three huge items that are included in the base price of the scout campers. You don't have to pay for them or add them on. They're already included in the, ba in the base price of the camper. So just wanna make sure you're all aware. I showed you some of the, the uh, you know options in the camper that are, are I highly recommend for your camping experience, but also the options that come standard in the scouts. Uh, these campers are awesome. And I look forward to seeing you in the wild.